Why, hello there! It is your resident Rift Wizard 2 addict, Chris, here at Shake the Box. That man who does the shaking the boxes. And, uh, I've been thinking, Rift Wizard's really a game about... basically standing still and casting magic, right? That's not very movement-oriented. What if we only move? What if the only choice we have is to move? What if I were to choose one or where we only get one free spell and that's it, just the one spell? What if I chose that, right? All right, welcome back once again, wizard, to the ruins of the universe. And then I clicked on spells, and then I clicked on the letter T, and I chose blink. I could only move now, there's only movement. That's a problem, because how are we going to attack? Blink doesn't do any damage. Well, let's go ahead and take Thunder Blink. Casting Blink casts Thunder Strike on the two closest enemy targets in line of sight. Bang. Bang. <gasps> Bang. Bang. And just like that, we finished one floor. Now, I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, well... What the hell are you gonna do? Because this ain't gonna take you very far. You only got six of them. That means there's 12 enemies you could fight. Spawners take two shots. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I assure you, I know you're not wrong. Now, what's gonna be fun is we need to find particular tools. Particular tools. We're looking for special things. Whenever an enemy takes dark damage, well, that's not going to work out for us. Arcane spells and skills gain two range. And then a bunch of stuff that doesn't help us at all. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, your arcane spells and skills gain damage. That won't do anything for us. So, like, that kind of stuff, not going to do it. Flaming Claw, Fate Toxin, all of those things do nothing, nothing for us. The other thing we want to watch out for is if we see a level with enemies that are completely immune to electricity... That's going to be its own problem. Can't do that. So we need to be careful. Now, Rathlings. Let's think about Rathlings for a second. Rathlings. This is a fun, this is a fun challenge run, even though I don't think you're going to see too much challenge. Uh, I may have discovered this on stream and I just, I was really excited about it. I wanted to do a video for you guys. But, uh... Yeah, Rathlings is going to be pretty nice, because whenever someone dies to lightning damage, we're going to shoot out more lightning damage. So that's, that's not too bad. That's pretty nice. Now, like I was saying, the fun part about this is we're, we're doing a bunch of stuff unrelated to Blink. Like, whenever we're looking at objects in the game, anything that's going to, like, impact our ability to win, we have to put Blink out of mind, because Blink doesn't matter. A spell we don't have matters. So that's the fun part. So every 75 damage dealt to enemies with sorceries, we get death chill on a random enemy. That's not too shabby. That's the kind of stuff we're probably going to want. There is a better thing I'm hoping we'll find, and we'll immediately take it if we see it. But that works. That works pretty well. We're going to take Sorswinter. Uh, Sorswinter. Source Winter is going to be pretty nice. Uh, we are going to need a couple of mana potions, but after very shortly, honestly, we're not going to need mana potions at all after a little while. So let's take Source Winter. I'm hoping we'll find a better version of a wand, but we'll talk about that as we go. So let's go ahead and uh, just bounce around. You don't need to worry too much. Just remember, it's the two closest enemies. So if you're aiming for a spawner, you got to aim for the spawner. Ah, uh, Death Chill took someone out and then it jumped. That's nice. The, the unfortunate part is we cannot take some of the spells that we uh, get to work on. All right, so he's Death Chilled. We don't have to aim at that guy. In fact, we could just pass a couple of turns. And this should be it. Dang it. This should be it. Only need to drink the one mana potion. We get two more. But we're almost, we're almost to self-sufficiency. He's crazy. He's crazy. I hear you. I hear you saying that. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crazy. You'll see. 
When we cast a lightning or a dark spell, that's actually pretty nice. Lightning spells, a number of summons go right on to hell, but that said, uh, Robe of Agony ain't bad. Robe of Agony ain't bad. Uh, I'm tempted to re-roll, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I might actually grab that. Well, let's think about it. Whenever you cast... You know what? No, that's, that's actually pretty sweet. Let's grab it. Let us grab the Robe of Agony. Uh, spawner here, spawner here, spawner here. I am a little concerned we might end up needing... Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. Alright, we got four spell points. If we click on translocation, we could already do... Like, they're so cheap! It's insane how cheap they are. Everything in the translocation department is something we want. But we're going to be breaking things a little bit. So Stormbrew Tricksters. This is quite important. Whenever you cast a translocation spell, summon a Storm Troll Trickster at the location you cast the spell from. What it does not mention is this particular minion casts your copy of Blink, which means he gets two casts of Thunder every time. So that's how we're going to be doing a lot of this game right there. Silk Shifter is going to make it so whenever time we can uh, cast our blink at a web, any web, our webs will work. <laughs> we get a free cast. Lightning Warp is going to be nice, but that's not as important as Glittering Dance. When you cast three arcane spells in a row, regain a cast of a translocation, summon two fairies, the fairies heal you. Which is to say, if we are silk shifting and glitter dancing, we get charges back, we get charges back. We can miss a few webs and we still end up at net positive, especially when we end up taking Echomancer. When we cast the same spell twice in a row, we get a charge for free on the third. We will have unlimited blink. We'll never need more charges of blink. That said, we're going to start with Stormbrood Trickster because this makes makes it so if we run out of cast, it doesn't matter even though we could be working on, you know, unlimited casts. We don't need to yet. So I'll jump there. We have two of these guys. I'm just going to let them uh, trundle on down the hallway where they will handle it. Like you can see them blinking. Their blinks will proc Source Winter. And it's over. It's as easy as that. So on the next floor, when we get three... Oh, we only get two. We're not there yet. We're almost there. We're almost to full self-sufficiency. Reroll. If we do not see anything that's, like, incredible, then we just, uh, we move on. Ooh, translocation boots. Translocation boots ain't too shabby. Two range, 25% more charges. Nothing here is immune to lightning. So we grab the translocation boots. That is one of our, like, desired items. That is a high tier grab. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where uh, I'm stopping to walk occasionally. Sooner or later, that will not be the case. Walking will become four chumps. Well, all right. I'm out of cast. I could drink a potion, but I won't because I'll just let these guys handle it. And it's done. All right, one more spell point and we'll be living the self-sufficient life. I'm going to re-roll. I'm, I'm honestly looking for one particular wand, but there's like a few hats that would be nice to find too. Just to keep you uh, abreast of my, my journey here. Yeah. Now, honestly, jars? Jars ain't bad. Jars are surprisingly not bad. Uh, no discs are necessary. At least, not dark discs. Sorry, I, I, no dark things are necessary. There are a few discs we want. My brain... Oh. Anxiety's been killing me. I don't, I don't know how to think anymore. Man, even liches. Something I normally am like, oh man, liches? They don't matter. They don't matter at all. 
I'm gonna land a spell point. Skill. <coughs> Letter T for translocation. I will take. I mean, once we have both of these, we're good to go. I'm just not sure which one I want first. Three in a row, we get one back. I have eight, so three, and then one, and three, and then one. We should get, a, like, three extras? We'll take a Silk Shifter first, because that's theoretically nigh unlimited, as you can see. Like, as long as I'm aiming at these, I'm generating trolls, <laughs> so... Even though it's not, like, super helpful where I'm going, it's super helpful. We'll help out by teleporting onto a spot. Excuse me, allergies. <clears throat> I was helping out by teleporting onto a tile that would take out a phylactery. Help our little buddies out. They try their best. Bang. And you know what? At this point, they can handle it. I'm just gonna... Just gonna let them do it. So yeah, I, I'm sure you picked up already, but we have literally unlimited, unlimited summons once we have this up and running. Like, you oh, but no, you're limited by your number of cat. No, 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 no. I won't have a limit on my number of casts. You'll see. You will see. I will show you. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. All right, so there's nothing good. I don't want any of this stuff. That means we're just going for a ruby heart. We're going to make sure we're not going to a level with, like, things completely immune to lightning. Nothing here is completely immune to lightning. So this looks just fine. Uh, I want to prioritize picking up spell points, because if I can get four of them... Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to take Glittering Dance. We are one away from, like, true self-sufficiency, but we're already, like, we can get back any expended casts just by jumping around. Jump around. Get up, get up, to get down. Wildly broken. Like, seven's our max. Just watch how many we do. Back up to seven. Just jumping around for funsies. I don't know where we're going. And the level's over. It's going to be remarkably simple. We are going to want uh, some hearts. By the end, we'll be jumping around, but we won't be uh, terribly self-defending. Like, things with AoEs and stuff, we're going to be blinking in and out of them. So nothing here completely immune to electricity. Nothing that really matters at this point. Because now that we have our minions, these guys have a physical attack and a lightning attack. We also are stun-locking things, even if they're immune to lightning. That's nice. Like, if something is completely immune to ice damage... They can't be frozen, but you can be stunned regardless of your uh, your affinity for lightning. I'm going to take Wrath Links here, which are going to be doubly good. Yeah, stuff like that. You see, we got we got jumped around. Got to be careful. Those little jerks can move you around. And then if you end up getting stunned for whatever reason, that could be a problem. Alrighty then. What is there? One dude left over there? Done. I lost one point of max health in there. Not sure how. Let's not worry about it. So uh, we're up to four again. We could take glittering. Sorry, we could take lightning warp. I could read. But I'm actually going to save up for the next uh, free casting situation. So let's re-roll. Still crossing my fingers for the magic wand I want. Which I won't spoil yet. Hoping we'll find it. We'll talk about it at the end if we don't find it. This level looks fine. Every level looks fine. I am never concerned about levels now. Plink on down here and then bang. Get the heart. Just gonna whip on down here and get another one of these. 
skills, sorcery, echomancer. So yeah. Now we truly will never need to worry about our number of casts. It's just not something that we need to think about. We just don't. Stunlock the avian wizard forever. He doesn't get to move. We're getting little troll blooded fairies. And I'll just be sitting at eight casts forever as I jump around. Like, I don't even think about the level now. I'm just going, going around collecting stuff. My menus keep getting in the way. I just wanted to pick up the key. Why are they not killing that lizard? It's taking so long. Oh, he keeps freezing. There we go. I got my key. And the level's over. Let those storm clouds dissipate. <laughs> Get my last thing. All right, after this, now that we have the engine, we generate minions, we get cast back. We generate healing minions, we get cast back. We get cast back. So like we have unlimited blinks, which means as long as we're blinking, we're hitting two enemies if they're on line of sight and we generate unlimited enemies, un enemies, unlimited buddies who help us out. So now we want to up the amount of damage we're doing per cast because 30 blinks for six death chills. We want to see that inverted. We want as many casts of our free spell as humanly possible. Gold Spark. That is actually a hilarious hat because we're going to take uh, Holy Thunder. Lightning damage gets redealt 100% of it, mind you. So 100% of the lightning damage gets redealt as holy damage. And then the hat will take 50% of that holy damage and redeal it as lightning damage, which will then do 100% of that. I think you see what I'm talking about. We'll have a cycle. It'll just cut itself in half each time until we get down to zero damage. The only problem with this place, not 100%. Oh, baby. Never mind. We're coming here. All right. That hat will be great. I think that means our next thing is going to be Holy Thunder. This doesn't do anything yet, but we're taking it. Because that's going to be very, very funny. Cockatrices. I'm the one who stuns. I remind you. The nice thing about generating these minions as well is they pull, uh, they pull their fair share of aggro for things like cockatrices, who are normally very frustrated. Don't need to worry about them as much. All right, we're starting to hear more source winters going off because we're hitting higher health minions. That is nice. Wow, wow. Job's done. Let my storm clouds dissipate a little bit. My god, the weather's been just brutal. Uh, no, 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 no. So what do we have? 17 death chills? We're like half. We're at the halfway mark. That's, that's good, but we want to be better. Uh, as much as I want to increase the damage, Holy Thunder is going to be way too good. We want to do that first. Oh, I forgot how to key. I'm not going to use it now that I already re-rolled. So, uh... Frost is a bit of a bummer. We also want to prioritize wide open layouts, if ever... If ever possible. So this looks... Fine to me. Bang! Go ahead and start stunlocking fools. Six, I believe that means I have enough for Holy Thunder. It was only five. All right, let's see how this plays out. No lightning immunity. Gold Spark Cap only did 17. Well, the problem is it has to, it's one individual, right? I'm not like jumping around. 50% of holy damage dealt enemies as lightning damage, and then lightning is holy back and forth. 
So we need to, like, see it hit somebody like that guy. It looks like we're just guaranteed a kill if that happens. That can't be right. There's a big AoE on this, but only the center does damage. But it looks like anyone in the center just dies. Yeah, did you see that? You know what, we gotta slow this down. Normal speed, normal speed. Yeah. If we look at the turn log. 24 lightning damage to Immortal Seder. Rogue Vagony to dark damage. Lightning damage to Immortal Sable of Rogue Vagony. We did a Thunderstrike, Thunderstrike. And then the holy damage, bang, 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 bang. And then lightning, and then holy, and then lightning and holy. It is diminishing, as you see, but like... It is technically a lot of damage that way. So pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna look. I don't see anything very exciting. We're gonna use a portal key. Come on, baby, where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. I can feel you calling out to me. Just tell me where you are. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I want to find it. You, on the on this VOD channel, on, on the Shake the Box Gaming, when this eventually gets up there, I know I'm always behind on that, but, you know, I make a lot of content. I, I got the wand I'm looking for in that run on floor two, and it, it just made the run bonkers powerful. And I'm nice. I'm happy I'm seeing how powerful it is without it. So no complaints. This is actually still good, good data. But I'm not going to lie. I would still like it. <clears throat> All right. Whatever, Ru whatever uh, Ruby Heart level has a nice open layout like this, this is fine. Immortal Green Slimes. Yeah, all this A-OK. -okay. I'm going to collect uh, orbs as I go since this is this is a game about movement now. There we go. There we go. We get to see. We get to see the repeat damage I'm talking about. And Robe of Agony, even better now because of that. And don't forget Wrathlings that are doing both Holy and Lightning. We get returns on all of them. And now that we're on normal speed, we could actually see the looping damage I was talking about. So the bigger the initial number, the more damage we get to see repeating. Oh my god, it's so good! Bang, 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 bang. It's like watching a, a weird disease spread throughout the level. As it just, it, it just destroys them. It ticks through their life. I'm glad I brought the speed down to normal so I could watch this happen in real time. Very satisfying. Bap, 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 bap. Oh my god. All right, we want to increase our damage for sure. We want bigger initial hits. The jumps are from uh, Wrathlings, though. So Wrathlings doing good work. Oh, it's so funny. Pop, 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 pop. And every one of these dudes blinking, causing it to happen again and again. Range is also a nice thing. We're going to want to get as much range as possible. That way we could blink far and we could actually watch the free thunder strikes jump across the map. And every upgrade we get is going to upgrade our little buddies. Don't forget that. All right, I'm, I'm not a patient man, though, so let's, uh, let's just bring up to fast. That way we could, we could enjoy it, but it goes quickly. All right, let my thunder clouds dissipate. I already picked up everything. I'm just soaking it up. So maximum damage. That's where we are now. Like, we've put together the infinite casts engine. These three. We have our unlimited minions that cast our spell as well. We got our holy thunder. And a hilarious engine of Wrathlings, Goldspark, and Robe of Agony. Creating unlimited damage loops. So very nice cat. And there are very nice grabs there. So next up is definitely, how do we get the most damage? Now a 50% damage boost, I think. Thankfully we can look at the spell. <clears throat> so Thunderstrike is doing 24. If we take that, we're getting a 12 damage 
jump. I believe that is that is the best the best start for us. A 50% jump there. We get another cast, not that that matters. No range, unfortunately, but that's still good stuff. I don't believe it updates in here, though, which is a bummer. Yeah, it still says 24, but we know for realsies. It's doing 36. Uh, nothing I want there. Nothing I want there. Nothing I want there. Reroll. Nada. 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 Robe of Agony. Definitely the better one. Or is it? Is it the better one? Rub of Storms gives us lightning and ice. We're getting some dark here. I think I'd rather have the dark. I'd rather have the dark. There's a couple of things we could try and pair up with if we're doing ice damage. Mostly like first fear if we want to get some free yetis. Uh, yeah, that place looks fine. If we're not getting anything, we might as well get a heart. You know what I mean? Oh, much better. Look at how fast that goes. We can still enjoy it. We still get to laugh at the funny damage hahas. But it's not like taking six days. I came to a place with lightning drakes because I have no respect. No respect. Leave my little minions behind. They'll take care of it. It's like I don't even care. Immune to lightning damage? Doesn't bother me. That's, that's how much we're going to be flexing on this game. See, this is fun mostly because my one real frustration, I think, with Rift Wizards, one or two, is it's largely a game about just casting spells. I love casting spells, don't get me wrong, but you're casting spells and you're not moving. And then you have to switch to a translocation spell to move as like an emergency. So placement, your initial placement is like the most important part. And then when you do challenge runs and you don't have access to translocation spells because they're out of the school or you're doing a one -er, uh holding on to teleporters becomes the name of the game. And then when you run out at the end, you just lose. Like there's a lot of one -er challenges that are fun because they have like AOE blasts or they have multiple targets. But, like, I tried to do Spikeball Factory, and I made it all the way to Mordred, but once you're out of teleports, it's out. It's over. That's a- it's a spell that traps you in a box. So you need to, like, place yourself in a way so, like, you can use wing shoes here, you can make seven out of eight of them, step out, try to reposition and cast more. But in the time it takes you to walk around, you have a horde of monsters completely surrounding you, and it takes eight turns for the first ball to appear. Uh, it's untenable if you do not have translocation. Anyway, sorry about that. I'm still a little bitter about that run, I guess. Just I'm holding I'm holding anger in my heart. Well, not seeing anything good, so we're just gonna aim for a level like this. Will I? There are storm trolls. Maybe this one. Yeah, this is fine. Like we got butterfly demons, but. Wait, how many butterfly demons? Two, four, six, eight butterfly demons. How many storm trolls? One, two, three, four, five. Five. There's five of them. You know what? I'm gonna go here. Storm troll is completely immune. Who cares? My other my storm trolls will take care of them. Teach them what for. They are all storm troll spawners, so we wanna like really focus on teleporting around here. Try to remove them. Thankfully, again, we, uh... We are a spreading virus of lightning damage. Alright, no storm troll spawners. Almost up to seven, so I can increase my damage again. All right, so Lightning Master was the best way to get a flat damage increase. Lightning Frenzy. Whenever you cast a lightning spell, your lightning spells and skills gain four damage for six turns. We are casting two spells per blink. So, it's eight damage 
for six turns. We could stack them. That's a lot of damage. That's probably the next best one. Let's take Lightning Frenzy. Well, Prince of Ruins also probably the best way, but... As you can see, we're times two. Times six. Oh, sorry, times four. Times six. Times eight. Times ten. So that's an additional 40 damage. Times 12. For, for initial turn. How much health did this dude have? Because, good lord. 84 lightning damage to him. Yeah. Which means 84 holy damage, which means 42 lightning damage, which means 42 holy damage, which means 21 lightning damage, 21 holy damage. You get it. You're seeing how this works. Obviously, Prince of Ruins going to be a funny haha -ha upgrade. And grab our last couple of items. No, 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 no. My hat is perfect. Thank you very much. I would love keys. Portal keys, please. Venom Spit. Armorer. Ar armorer. Ar <laughs> my, my, tr my, my little buddies can have Rogue Agony. <clears throat> I mean, as a freebie? Sure. Unnecessary to the extreme. But the thought of it makes me giggle. I will take armor. Each turn, a random summon ally equips a copy of her armor. Now, it says summons, which you would think means it needs to be via a conjuration spell. But every minion that you have the potential to control counts as summoned. We're summoning these via our skill. If I were to take an exotic pet, it doesn't follow me into the level, because if it died in the previous one, you would think it's dead, but it, it respawns. It's summoned. So the wording can be a little tricky there, but everything is, is a summon mini. Have no fear. Oh no, completely- oh, nope, dead already. I do believe we're getting, uh... So my robe here... If any of these guys have, like, 125... Lightning, we know they have it. Oh, this guy's wearing it. So, keep your eye on this dude. If I cast a spell... I saw a beam exit him. You saw that, right? Six points. I want one more. Because I want to increase damage again. More damage, because how are we doing now? Eight death chills? Man, we're not getting nearly enough death chills. I'm actually kind of, uh, confused about that. Sparkloom? I believe you cast lightning bolts, but it's enchantment damage? Yeah. Not what we're looking for. Some of you might know what we're looking for. Our very special... special item that we search desperately for. Our wand we want. Bummer. That looks fine. That also looks fine. I'd rather do this one. The other one had fiends. Fiends are bummers. Blink. All right. I think now is the time for Arch Sorcerer. Two range, seven damage? No, no, no. The best one is Void Lord. Eight damage, two range. No, oh, wait a minute. That's only for arcane spells. And Thunderstrike is not arcane. All right, no, 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 no. You're right, you're right, me. Art Sorcerer is what we want. Like, this gets us charges in range. We still want the other one, but Art Sorcerer, this is what we really want. It gets us range on Blink, but we wanted the damage on our lightning spell. Oh, no. Oh, you know what I want? I want Prince of Ruin ASAP. 
So let's get it. You think it's funny what's going on now? It'll be much better once we have Prince Rune. My extra copies from armor, I'm watching them go off. Hell yeah. Oh, I need one more. Might as well grab this on the way. I'm sure you've noticed, but like I'm not paying attention to my, my number of casts. Like it's just not even not even a thing I need to worry about anymore. Prince of Ruin. And the level's over. I've already picked up all the prizes because movement is how you play now. Crackle Darkener, Sorcery Wand. I mean, a Sorcery Wand's worth looking at. Because honestly, Source Winter, a little disappointed with it. And you know what? I think it's because any spell that is a thing is infected and damage like applies over time is fun when you're doing it on purpose. But when it's a random enemy getting chosen, I feel like you really miss out. Not to mention seven death chills. We're still at half. It's the, the, the threshold for Source Winter going off. 75 is such a bummer. Uh, what did I want here? That sorcery wand. It's a flat damage improvement, isn't it? Nine damage. Two more range. You know what? I kind of want that. The bone shamblers here are bummers, but there's not a lot of them. And this is like another nice example of like, I'm going to choose a level that in theory I shouldn't choose, but that's how little I respect mine enemies. I'll take that sorcery wand. And just watch it spread the damage out. Oh my god. And yeah, no more slimes for people. Just instantly, instantly they're all dead. Now these guys are not immune to physical attack, so these guys can just slap them around. We'll just make piles of my team around these things. There is another skill we could take to help, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, they'll take care of it. I'm sorry. Electric Bone Shambler. How did we end up with Towering Bone Shamblers? Somebody please explain. How did one of these die and then we ended up with these bastards? This is a visual glitch. 143? They should not look like... These are intermediary. These are like middle size. They're splitting apart into one of the bigger sizes here. That is not, uh, not how that's supposed to go. Ah, well, not my problem. Let's just keep blinking around. The team will handle it. This will be a slog, though. This is going to be a bummer. Makes me wish I had a, uh... Makes me wish I had, whatchamacallit. You know, that thing. That item. The Aether Dagger. It wouldn't matter. I would have to still kill them over and over and over again. But we have unlimited minions. I'm literally just going to blink back and forth. They'll get through them eventually. Guess I'll blink around down here a little bit. You know, maybe I will take it. Like, lightning doesn't hurt them, right? What if we took uh, Stormcaller, for instance? Whenever ice or lightning damage, we get a blizzard or thundercloud. We could start doing some ice damage to them. But I can't because, unfortunately, I am out. Out of spell points. 
Like, if I just keep blinking, I stunlock everybody, and they'll just beat them up. It'll take some time, but it'll happen. Uh, so I'm just gonna kick back and uh, mindlessly do this. I'll jump ahead. Oh, it's over! Oh my god! Alright. Yeah, I wouldn't have chosen that one had I realized that that was a visual glitch. Like, that should not have looked like a... That's like the second to last size. It's the, the second smallest version. So I'm like, oh, we only have to, like, kill them, what, four times total? That's fine. No, that was a big boy. That was a big boy. Uh, wing shoes. I, honestly, I'd rather rather have extra range. Not a thing I'm gonna grab. I guess an electric fang? I don't know. None of these ca none of these matter. We don't want any of this stuff because we have the perfect hat. We have the perfect shoes. So if we're not going there, chaos casting does that do anything for us? Not particularly. Not really. Oh, we had a portal key. Gosh darn it. So yeah, an electric fang. It's gold Drake land. Who cares? They stop the loop of damage, but their friends won't be so lucky. But sure, an electric fang. I don't think electric fang is going to help us with our storm. No, minion damage. It does, in fact. I guess the fang spells and skills. You know what? I got I to gotta read better. Sure do wish I had learned to read at any point. All right, Disintegrator, obvious choice here for additional damage across the board, so let's grab it. Now, Prince of Ruin, what are you up to at this point? I'm sorry. 52 damage of that type. Oh my goodness. That's bonkers. That's bonkers. Yeah, if we can improve the radius on that... Wow, levels are going fast now. Cool! Alright, let's, uh, look before I portal key. So we don't want any of that stuff. Use the portal key. Winter links. Ah, uh, mystic things. Reroll them all. All right, what we got? No. No, thank you. Am I standing on one? I love when it does that. It just slips it underneath me. Ember maker. More Wrathlings, though. More Wrathlings is always a good time. I'll grab those first. What's fun about this is... Uh, if you wanted to do this not in a one-er challenge, where you could have other spells, that way you could take Thunder, Thunder Strike and like upgrade it in fun ways, it's totally doable. Because Blink, like we saved three spell points. Just imagine I had zero here, and we'd be doing the same thing right now. Oh my God, Wrathlings paired up with Prince of Ruin. We do have some enemies that have, like, enough resistance that we're watching it uh, slow down a little bit. Oh no, I'm blind! <gasps> blind actually applies a limit to how far I can hit stuff. That's unexpected. Uh, you gotta go, bud. <laughs> Unacceptable to have you alive. So yeah, the zombies are screwed, but when we hit the steel spiders, who I believe are 100% lightning immune, and these guys, 50%, we get diminishing returns. But still getting returns all the same. Especially as our damage climbs higher and higher. Yeah. Man, armor was such a fun freebie to get, getting all these extra casts of our robe. Eight spell points? 
All right, let's think about this in order. We're not doing arcane damage, sadly, or fire damage, so nothing to worry about there. Master of Space is pretty nice, just so we can hit stuff further away. But overall, I think we could turn off arcane in the sorcery department. Again, more range with Spell Sniper, maybe. Maybe, but that doesn't do anything in the terms of damage. But in the lightning department, boy, how D? Shock value, storm caller, lightning warp. All of these are phenomenal. Lightning warp in particular is pretty funny. And the damage goes up based on lightning. <laughs> uh, we'll take shock value first. That way we, you know what? No, I will take lightning warp. Mostly because I'm thinking to myself, as fun as it is to take shock value, things are dying really fast. We're not going to see it go off very much. Fire or arcane spells. Star charged. Six arcane damage to one random enemy on line of sight for each turn. And then fire damage to another. You know what? I'm going to take Void Flame Lantern. Blink is a level three spell. That's not bad. Let's do it. It's just more damage. Why not? Ruby Heart. Ruby Heart. Ruby Heart. This might be even more powerful than my last run, despite the fact that I'm lacking a incredible item that I would love to show everybody. Really wounding me here, game. Hey. Thank you. Alright, don't want anything here. Electric Fang might be nice. You know what? An Electric Claw. That's like a percentage improvement for my, my buddies. They're doing 13 damage right now. What happens if I grab this? How much damage do they end up doing? <clears throat> Let's find out. They're doing 16 damage. It was equivalent. Didn't matter which one I grabbed. I mean, leaving these guys behind, they'll take care of those. Let's start getting a couple left over near these ones. Just leave my team in places. God, did you see the spread? As damage just whips around. Oh my god. I, I said this on stream too, but I think this might be like my new favorite builds. It's just so wacky. Like everything's so tight. In that it really... Everything feeds into each other perfectly. There is no fat on the build whatsoever. And it gives you so much movement freedom. And I feel like I have a high health total with a pretty nice collection of uh, garbage going on in here. Like, sometimes I feel like I have high health and I have no trinkets. But we got two... Uh, you know what it is? Outside of one thing in here, which is the troll blood, and even that's helping out. Everything's pretty, uh, very on point. Like, there's no... No wasted slots. We didn't take anything because we took a level that was a better layout. Everything here is contributing significantly. Everything's doing a great job. These things are completely immune. Yeah, I'm just going to make a pile of friends. Make an army. Let them fight it out. I'll go stand over here. They have no hope. Beautiful. That's what that is. That is beautiful. Plink, plink, plink. What is my next skill going to be? I think now we'll take shock. No! Chastisement. Chastisement. My god. Chastisement. Lock them down forever. Chastisement's holy. It requires six. Let's grab that immediately. Ophan, Insanity Queen, both are fine. I will re-roll in the hopes of finding... Eh, I'll take a sorcery disc, sure. Sorcery orb. Uh, sorry, orb. 
I came here without even looking. That's how confident I am. Furnace fiends. You see, those are bad for us. And I don't even care. Don't even care. Because everyone's gonna be... Everyone's gonna be stunlocked for the whole game. You know, because of their weakness to holy, we're actually seeing an unlimited loop. The number goes up on them. Yeah. I understand why that's happening. They take double damage from holy, so even though they're blocking... Well, now these guys are really gonna suck. Where's the furnace fiends at? Yeah, even though they're taking 25% of the lightning damage, that becomes 50% of holy damage. And through our hat and such, we're getting some uh, wild returns on that. Oh, baby, yeah. And then each time they die, we get our, our various robe effects, and then Prince of Ruin goes off, wipes out all the chaff. That is so funny. Like, we have to wait. We have to wait. As it counts up. Oh yeah, let's go get my prize. This is one of the few cha a few levels where we might have to drink like a health potion as we go. No, shamblers are just they're popcorn. They are fireworks displays. They don't matter to me. That said, there goes the last furnace fiends. Now we just have chaos fiends. So now I'll use an Aether Dagger. R.I.P. everything on screen. Yes. You didn't take as much damage as I thought you would. You did get hit, right? Yeah, you have no resistances now. Just high health pools, that's all. I'll continue to rank up my Star Charge and my Crackling Frenzy. Oh, wait, Star Charge shoots out... Arcane damage. My god. I could... I could, in theory... Take Crackle Void. He has Clarity. That's a bummer. 60 health. You see, this is the kind of time where, uh... We have these toys. Just use them. Why not? Now, Golden Stopwatch, why'd you let him do a thing? Come on. I guess clarity works that way. Heal myself. That was Star Charge shooting off there. Let's work on the, uh, the army we're trying to form here. And again, this dude's gonna spawn things? Just harvest the extra spell points. You should have a pile of just useless potions. I mean, the mana potions are truly useless. The health potions have been. This is the only level you're really going to be running into them. But, like, you could let the fight kind of drag on. Harvest free stuff. He generates spell points, chests, spell book pages, skill book pages. I believe for a one or challenge, only skill pages. So, like... Why not? Why not? We're gonna take him for all he's worth. Got unlucky there. I'm hoping to see some prizes. I want I want free stuff. How many casts of blink do I have? Is seven still my cap? No, nine. Eight. Star Charge is up to 41. Star Charge, tell me more about you, my Void Flame Lantern here. Whenever you cast Fire or Arcane spell, gain Star Charge with duration equal to the spell's level. Deal 6 Arcane damage to one enemy and Fire to another. 
damage. It is fire based. Interesting. It is arcane and fire based, you know? I guess that's an excuse to take, uh. Take, uh, Void Lord. I'm waiting for this man to make more levels, Hiles. How long? Chaos Breath, three turns. Two turns. One turn. So we should do it this turn right now. I'll take some damage, but whatever. I've learned about Chaos Bite. I no longer trust Chaos Bite. Never be in range of Chaos Bite. The, the wording on Chaos Bite, very misleading. Damn it, no spell points? I mean, I'm just gonna jump around. Jump around. Get up, get up, get down. Because I just want him to make more spell points. That's all I want. Oh, uh, he's gonna die. He's, he's too weak. He can't handle... He can't handle what I'm doing here. How many turns? Come on. Come on, you have... It's this turn. Do it. Breathe on me. Quick, before you die. Damn it! Wildly disappointing. I was one away. Trying to decide. Uh, we don't have a lot of damage. I can improve it. That way Star Charge does something worth our while. But all the same, are you completely immune to landing? You are. I'm just gonna let my boys uh, gang up on you. Yeah, beat him up. Kick his ass. Yeah. Bing. 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 There we go. All right. So our options for that are if I take uh, Void Lord, our Void Flame Lantern would go from six damage to 14 damage, I think. It's 13 or 14. Somewhere in that ballpark. Or we could take uh, Crackle Void. Arcane damage is dealt nearby as lightning damage. Don't forget the holy damage as well. That kind of spreads it around. But I feel like we have so much of that already. So you know what? I'm going to take Void Lord. Uh, let's reroll. It literally doesn't matter. Poor Mordred. All right, Arcane. Void Lord. Our Void Flame Lantern does 14 damage. I mean, in theory, I could keep him stunlocked so he never shovels a level, but I'd rather get more spell points in play. I get greedy, and my greed largely is tuned for I want as many skills as possible. As possible. And this is going to be a very short Mordred fight if I don't run around picking up spell points. Because now I can do I can do both. I can satisfy both my cravings. Unfortunately, some of them are in walls, so we gotta gotta do a little of that. Warp our way across. You know what? I have these things. I'm just gonna use them. And I have a bunch of healing potions. All right, lightning. I'm going to take Crackle Void for six. And now I'm going to see if I can get Starfire to happen. Any more spell points anywhere? Not seeing any. Well, did you best shuffle this level right the hell now? How long? One turn. I won't I won't stun him. I stunned him. Oh, uh, one of my dudes stunned him. He gets clarity, though. Come on. Interposition. Let's do this. Spell point, spell point, spell point. 
Por portal key? I do think portal key should do something on uh, the final floor. It'd be a neat thing. Don't know what, but like it'd be a fun, fun idea. Like, ooh, a portal key? I got it on Mordred. I saved it for Mordred. Open it up. Maybe you get like special, special summon or something. Is that all the spell points? I think it's all the spell points. 100 health. I'm trying to decide if I want to heal. Yeah, if I get swapped into Mordred's spots, that's always frustrating. All right, now we're perfectly safe. Starfire, I think, is another six cost. So we want him to interposition one more time, please. If you'd be so kind, Mordred. I'm guessing his resistances are somewhat based on lightning, and he's weak to holy. Therefore, he takes infinite damage. That is now my favorite arrangement of resistances. I hate artists. Alpha artists, I should say. Now we'll just stunlock those fools. And then I'll leave uh, a couple of my buddies nearby. Yes! Spell point, spell point, spell point, spell point, spell point. Like, I could just focus on killing Mordred, but I won't be satisfied until I have my toys. Thanks, buddy. What happened there? You you did something that was interesting. I have 25 dark resist. Morge is a little close. I don't see anything that could swap places with me. Oh, nightmare aura. <laughs> Starfire only costs five. Look at the list of skills. So now, anytime our little star charge goes off, we get AoE. AoE lightning, which means holy, which means lightning, which means holy, because of our hat. Ow, 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 Ooh. Troll Blood is true the Torrid Sorcerer does two arcane damage with unnamed buff. It's an unnamed buff. It's something that's probably relatively new. I know that's a new wizard. But I don't know what that is. So Shrew, gotta be careful about him. Because if it's like based on number of hits, this is the kind of build that could really mess you up. Mordred has one more reincarnate. I'm out of blink. Are you kidding me? I had to drink a potion? That's never happened before. I'm sorry you had to see this. I guess I have been just completely disregarding it. Ooh! That's a skill page. You know what? Chaos Poet actually has a chance of going off. I'll take it. I wonder what a run of this game would look like if you had Blink with this upgrade and then every, every skill in the book. Just give me every single skill. Uh, I just gotta wait for these people to uh, die slowly by way of a thousand electric cuts. Man, I'm gonna get another skill. I think Mordred's on his last life, though. He is. He might not make it. There's a lot of damage that gets spread out. We have Chastisement. Man, Chastisement was so long ago, it feels like. 
Now I'm going to take shock value. Poor Mordred. Don't die yet, Mordred. Hang on, buddy. Mordred, no! <gasps> shock value costs seven. Quick! Shock value! What about Life Spark Lantern? Summon a lightning bug swarm. You know, that could be a fun one. If he, I mean, there's no way he's gonna get more turns. Let's just go ahead and kill him. Ooh! Look at the list of skills, it's a mile long. The Dark Wizard is slain. His beasts have been broken and maintained. The beauty of Avalon we built again. You freaking walked through the game. That's not true or fair. We didn't walk at all. All you need is blink. All you need is blink. All right. Holy thunder, 8,000 damage. 3,500 Gold Spark, 3,500 Storm Troll, 2,500 Prince of Ruin, 2,500 Wrath Links, well, 2,300. And then 5,000 extra, well, 6,000-ish. A tight block of damage, baby. So we didn't see it, but the wand I wanted was the Dynamo. For every 40 damage dealt, with lightning spells, you get a free cast of Annihilate. And let me tell you, I was getting like, let's say I cast 40 blinks, I had like 160 goddamn Annihilates. Like I was getting multiple per cast, it was insane. It was insane, it was wild. It was a great run. If I remember, I'll come back and link it in, in the end screen. But that'll come out in like probably a week and a half. Because I, I, I have like a week of streaming. And while I'm streaming the previous week or like the previous week and a half is airing on the YouTube. So I'm always behind. But that means I'm never like. Let's say like I lose my internet for a day. You don't have to worry about like, oh, well, no videos for anybody. I try and like make and schedule a, in a scheduled system of being behind ish. Anyway, that is how you win with just blink. Just blink. When I first proposed this idea, we were doing the spike ball one challenge, the one or spike ball factory challenge. And I was like, man, I didn't think this one would be that hard. I was going to be like, as a joke, we'll take blink only because like you can make it do some damage and like we'll never make it past floor 10 with just blink. No. Like, unlimited casting, unlimited minions, unlimited damage. You can get wacky items that will give you loops. Just unlimited damage loops. It's some bonkers stuff. It's really cool. And I really like that it's doable outside of the Wanner challenge because Blink only cast, costs three. The upgrade's two, so for five mana, you can get this off the ground. You would probably start with Thunderstrike and then get Blink, then get the Blink upgrade, and then start working on the skills. And then you could upgrade uh, Thunder. You can take upgrade Thunderstrike and be able to do something fun with it. I'm sure it has upgrades, they'll be fun. Oh, baby. But I hope you enjoyed this run of Rift Wizard 2 using only the spell Blink. If you had fun, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Come on back for more. Maybe ring the chaos bell. And if you want to support me, hit me up on Patreon. And oh, either way, come hang out in Twitch and come hang out in the Discord. I'm Chris here at Shake the Box, and I hope you keep on playing the games you love. Hit the other things on the screen for more videos. Bye, bye, bye.